Hi everyone, Spider-Man1991 here on Dark Avenger Inc. Plus to do an in-depth review of one of my fav- of definitely my favorite Marvel Now book, The Superior Spider-Man, Issue 4. Okay, the- I'm gonna talk about the plot, so there's gonna be spoilers since this is an in-depth review. Don't wanna be spoiled, don't watch the video. Anyways, um, pretty much the issue starts off with Otto Octavius as the superior Spider-Man who's now, th who thanks to the Spider-Bots has been operating more efficiently and so he's able to take some time off and he decides to go visit Aunt May who's still going through physical therapy and when, uh, doc when Otto talks to some of the doctors they say that you know, May's, May's doing fine, but there's no surgery that can help her. She might still have to use a cane, and he finds this unacceptable. So, Auto build, so at Horizon the next day, Otto builds a new uh, device, a new sort of walking system, a uh, neural interface uh, artificial leg. Well, not really an artificial leg so much as just kind of like a leg brace that can... A leg brace that can also like link to your mind so that it can help you walk better without the use of a cane. And of course, when P when Otto as Peter Parker tries to run this by Max Modell, uh, you know Uatu Jackson also is also there, and they both kind of and uh, Max says that you know Peter, you normally you are supposed to run run some stuff by like another Horizon thing take member just to like get this uh, or just to like you know get it approved. And also while they're talking about it. Uh, Uatu, Uatu says something, and then Peter sa and then Otto says, "I'm doc." Says Doctor Peter Parker. Remember that. Then Max says, "Okay, don't go fly. Don't go fly. I've read your resume. Don't oversell yourself. I know you didn't finish your doctorate." And then, and then this makes Otto freak has a freak out moment because he realizes that Peter Parker never finished grad school and he never got his. Uh, PhD uh, doctorate or PhD, and so this really ticks off Otto, because now he wants to, now he doesn't want to live in a world unless he's called by his proper title, Doctor. So, he goes back to ESU, Empire State University, uh, re-enrolls in the last class Peter didn't, wasn't able to finish, and decides to go in there, then try, then submit a thesis so he could get his doctorate, and, you know, become, so Peter Park will become an official doctor. You know, I would be surprised if Peter does come back and Otto, like, right after Otto get, gets his doctor, gets Peter his doctorate, and then it's like, Peter's just like, sweet, I, don't, I, I got a doctor and I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> that would be great, but uh, anyways, back to the plot. Um, after, P anyways, after Peter checks out the class, um, he gets a call uh, fr from the police station that says that massacre... Villain on the cover has escaped from pr from custody, and when Peter, and when Spider Man shows up, uh, Carly Cooper's there, so's uh, the police chief, and also Mayor Jameson. And when Jameson like you know gets on Spider Man's case, saying that you know I had him last time, but no, you let him live because you know you had the vow, everyone, nobody dies while you're around. And then Otto, and then uh, Peter's like, okay, Otto, I know what you're thinking. Do not break my vow, all right? Because Peter has a big vow that's you know. No one dies. But however, this isn't Peter Parker, the real Peter Parker. So Otto says, promises Jameson that this time, when he finds Massacre, he's going to end him for good. And meanwhile, Massacre, he's been escaping, and now he's, you know, sort of, he escaped, and he's kind of wandering the streets. Uh, he took some people hostage, and then, but now he's out free. Then... Then we cut back to what's then Spider-Man heads back to Horizon Labs and as Spider and he's still Spider-Man talks to Uatu Jackson about using the facial recognition software to help font to help find uh, Massacre because right now Massacre is like in the middle of New York City and New York City proud as hell and so basically Spider-Man asks Uatu for the same technology he gave Captain uh, Captain Yin when she was impersonating. Uh, Gene DeWolf, uh, and the Wraith, uh, way, way back, way back in, like, the Return of Anti-Venom story arc, but, try to focus here, uh, Uatu, and Uatu basically agrees to give the facial recognition software, and then, we get to the last page of this issue, where two of the Vulture's hex, two of the Vulture's ex-henchmen, or pench boys, because Vulture was using children, uh, are, were able to escape, uh, Spider-Man's, Escape Spider-Man for now, but then suddenly they, 
they get spotted by they notice a spider bot and then they start freaking out but then the spider got spider bot gets crushed and then someone and the person who crushed it says I'm I'm working on a plan to get rid of Spider-Man for good this time and that person is revealed to be spoiler alert the Green Goblin somehow I so yeah we know that the so the Green Goblin is back we just don't know if it's Norman yet because it's Green Goblin because for all we know because yeah I know Norman woke up back in 690 uh, back right before the dot either during or at the end 697, I believe that's when Amazing Spider-Man 697, that's when Norman Osborn woke up, and now we have the Green Goblin back, so obvious, obvious connection, it is Norman. That is a strong possibility that Norman Osborn is back, and he's going to be the Green, and he's back as the Green Goblin, right? I look forward to that. That was the main thing that, that made my day in this issue, was the return of the Green Goblin. Uh, I really hope that it is Norman Osborn. And you know, we're, and there is when they did the May solicitations for Marvel, they said that in Superior Spider-Man number ten, that's when the Green Goblin makes his official reappearance. So I think right now, though, we're going to be seeing the, if the Green Goblin does appear between now and then. Uh, it's just going to be in a back, sort of a background kind of. I'm planning this big thing. Sorry, camera died. Had to change the battery. Um, anyways, Green Goblin appearing in number ten. Can't wait. For that right now, I think he's just gonna be in the background, in the background, you know, planning some stuff like how, you know, mo you know, most villains are. And then Jeff, I'm sorry, Dan Slott is gonna build, is gonna br bring him back probably in a big way. Uh, can't wait for that. Um, as far as the issue itself is, I really love how Dan Slott is writing Otto Octavius because it's funny when, uh, when he he definitely does display that. What Otto's main flaw is his arrogance. Okay, because he has a free. Because you know he's spy, right now he's Spider Man. He's an Avenger. He's got a great job at Horizon Labs, but he acts like a little child having a ta temper tantrum right when he realizes that Peter d is just one credit short of having an official doctorate. I, I don't know. I, I think it was it was funny reading it. It really was. But at the same time, I'm just like, dude, your life is great. Stop complaining. I'm like, what's the big deal? You you have a, you have superpowers. Uh, you're a member of the Avengers. Honestly, and but no, that's not good enough for Otto. Otto has to, you know, he doesn't just want to be the best. He wants to be the best and wants everyone to know that he is supreme. That's hence the title, Superior Spider-Man. Um, Overall, Superior Spider-Man number four was a great issue. Um, it's funny how if you follow Dan Slott on Twitter, you know he retweets a bunch of people's re different people's reactions, and everyone says, and pretty much every issue of Superior has just been the same, like awesome, really love it. Um, if you were, if the ending of, if event, the ending of Amazing Spider-Man seven hundred put you off, well, I'd say start reading Superior Spider-Man because it is. Fun, trust me. It's fun. It's hilarious. Awesome. Definitely my favorite Marvel now book, and that's not just because Spider Man's one of my favorite heroes, but it's just because this is a well written book, and I love it. Highly recommend Superior Spider Man. Um, okay, that's it for my in depth review of Superior Spider Man number four. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to Dark Avenger Inc. Plus Spider Man 1991. Same. See you later.